Yeah. Did you hear what I just said? You treat them a certain way. How you look at them, how you talk to them, what your expectations are for them, and the tools that you make available for them, and the time, the energy, and the effort that you put in with them. People learn differently. I'm among those. I can't write a speech, but guess what? I can give you a speech. Writing it just straight out, that's not my style. I have to talk into a, a computer or a recorder and have it transcribed. That's my style. Everybody have their own style of how they approach this thing called life. And with the help of a Mike Williams, I went from just speaking and clowning in a class and, 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 and speaking at churches and, and, and elementary schools and high school to speaking at major corporations around the world. What happened? Same speaker, same person, but I met someone that showed me, here's how you can have a breakthrough in your ability with that gift of gab that you use when you're playing a card game called Bid Wits. Oh, uh, you've never been to Boston, I'll take you there. That, that same personality that you use when you're playing cards and, and when you're playing chess. Oh, the, the, the game at first, it was called Hess, but my middle name is Calvin. And so they put C in front of S -A, I mean H-E-S-S, -S, after me. So that same personality, he took this person that you see now, that was labeled educable, good, mentally retarded, and took this voice and this story and a different approach that allowed me to be able to change people's lives. And Miles Monroe, Dr. Miles Monroe, I talk about him a lot. I miss him. He said, rob the cemetery. Rob the cemetery of your genius. Just look at your life right now. I'm asking you, look at your life. Just begin to review yourself. This distance that you've come thus far, that distance is longer than the distance that you have left. And I encourage you, if you're ready to maximize that, I encourage you, if you're ready to live from your greatness, I'm, I'm encouraging you, if you're ready to take a chance on you, well, what if I don't make it? So what? Nat Turner, he never lived to see us being free, but he struck a blow that ultimately broke the back of slavery. And millions of other brothers and sisters how you can use your talents, your abilities, your skills, your knowledge, your story, your voice in a different way and become more impactful and how you can build relationships that can take you to another place that eye has not seen, ear has not heard. If you can feel me in your heart, if you can identify with what I, I'm saying, if you know in your heart of hearts, and I'm not asking about being practical and logical and realistic. Well, I'm too old. Oh, I, I, I don't have enough money. No, 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 no. Oh, you don't know the failures and disappointments that I've had in the past. That has absolutely nothing to do with what I'm talking about right now. What if the friendly bullet, a bullet going your hand in saying, I like you, you know? Woo, you know, what's up with that? Because success without fulfillment is the ultimate failure. Who's with me on this, right? You make everybody else feel great. I mean, it's a horrible example. I hate it. But we all know an extraordinary spirit that took his own life just recently. Probably lit up more human beings than almost anybody alive when it comes to humor and joy. He made everybody else feel happy but himself. It's sad. You don't want that to be you. If there's any gift he can give besides his joy is the evidence of what you want to move towards. Nobody in this room is going to move towards that. But we do it at a little level. We die a little bit along the way by giving up what we really desire and believe in. Every car has a spare tire. And every now and then you got to use it, but it's not designed for long-term use. A spare tire is temporary. Do you feel like you're on a spare tire right now? <laughs> I get it, but we got to take that spare tire off and we got to get you something permanent. We got to get you some support. We got to get you some encouragement. We got to get something that can handle the load. Take that spare tire off. But I'm suggesting that you operate out of a larger vision of yourself. I want you to see yourself doing what you want to do, experiencing what you want to experience, having what you want to have, doing what it is that gives your life some meaning and value. Operate out of your imagination, not your memory. Well, most people, ladies and gentlemen, when something happens to them, what they do is they begin to believe that that's the way it is. That's the way it's always been. 
and they can't see the possibility of it being any different. You must self assess, know where the holes are, and execute towards your true passion and see when you get that gold star. See, stars like you know that on the road to glory, there will be moments that will define your story. It's your family's job to try to reduce your pain level. Love them, but don't let them steal your dreams. It might even be someone you're with. You gotta face them head on. Someone starts trying to take your dream, you need to fire hose their ass. They start dripping on you, listen to me. I had an uncle like that. They start dripping on you, you go, hey, shut it. Just so you know, you have no freaking idea what you're talking about. You're wasting your time, you're pissing me off, and if you wanna talk to me anymore, don't ever say that to me again. Listen to me. The people in life that win play offense, not defense. Stop backing into everything. Stand up. Bow your back a little bit. Start to walk a little different. Start to be that best version of you. You can do it in your quiet way. You can do it the way you do it. But somehow they got to look at you and go, okay, I won't monkey with that one. Which everybody can do. It's easy. Just trying to learn how to read and write was something that blows Rocky away. So. All these different challenges that I've been through in my life, I, I've, I've easily, you know, I don't, I don't look at that movie the same way because I'm, I'm, I'm proud of what I created. But I'm more proud of I created without an audience, without a cheering squad, without someone like, you know, like you run the Boston Marathon and people love that race. They run so fast because for 26.2 miles, there's a motherfucker just, come on, man, you got it, you can do it. You know who you are, then there's no motherfucker out there when you're running. And you're at mile 75, 150 mile race, ain't nobody cheering for you. You're broken, you're fucking defeated. It's you and you alone in your fucking head. And I stayed that way for the better part of 30 fucking years. Trying to figure this shit out. And once you figure it out, you look at your, everybody say, hey, so you're all broken now. You know, is that how you want to be? Yep, yep. If you can feel, if I could put my brain in your fucking head, you said the same fucking thing. You would no longer think I was fucking crazy. You no longer think I was sadistic. You realize, motherfucker, this guy found it. He found it. We're all looking for this feeling. We're all looking for this feeling. And people look at me because I don't always smile and I'm not always jovial. Sure. <laughs> nah, man, don't get it twisted, dude. People see, oh my God, look in his eyes, you see like almost an emptiness. What brings you the most satisfaction beyond family? Well, uh, my most greatest satisfaction is just staying in good health. I mean, when you're 86, I mean, you, know, you, know, you look at this a little differently. <laughs> well, so, you, so you, you're in good health? Oh, yeah. I, 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 I mean, I enjoy every day. I, I enjoy. Well, what is it that you enjoy? Well, I enjoy running Berkshire. Yeah. I mean, if you get right down into my psyche, I mean, that's what I want to be. Yeah, no, it's, 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 you know, it, it's been my painting for 50 some years. I get to paint what I want. I don't have to, I don't have to do, you know, follow what, uh, Wall Street is telling me to do next quarter or something like that. So I own the brush, I own the canvas, and the canvas is unlimited. Now that's a, that's a pretty nice game, and I get to do it every day with people I like I don't have to I don't have to associate with anyone that causes my stomach to churn you know I, if I were in politics I'd have to smile at a lot of people that I want to hit you know <laughs> you so, just you so just I've got, to them. it's really it, I've got a good deal I'm, gonna, I'm hanging on to it <laughs> <laughs> look if you want to be in business for yourself and free you must learn to dominate you cannot compete okay how many were trained this competition is a healthy thing that message was not being delivered to entrepreneurs. That message was being delivered to consumers. There was somebody saying, look, the more, more oil companies we have, the better, because it's good for the customer, right? The, the more technology companies we have, it's not just Microsoft, the better for the customer. And in, 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 inventions and you know improvements and products comes from competition. But if you're the one playing the game, you wanna dominate the field. So look, here's the deal. I might be wrong in what I say, okay? I might be wrong in the things I do in my life and the business that I started. My family's told me not to start every business that I've been involved in, every one of them. Every one of them was a risk. Every one of them I had to take a chance. I remember my mom used to tell me, I wouldn't do that if I were you. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I wouldn't do that if I were you. I'm like, mom, 
you wouldn't do anything. Well, you wouldn't do anything except be the mother, a great mother to five children. My mother wasn't an entrepreneur. She didn't have my dreams. Just because she's my mom doesn't mean she dreams like me. Would you agree? Okay. My mom was wrong about everything she told me not to do. Love my mom to death. Okay. Unbelievable friend of mine. She was wrong. I needed to do those things. Okay. Steve Jobs needed to build this phone. Would you agree? Did he help a lot of people? Did he make some money while he was doing it? $119 billion in five years in the bank cash. I'm not talking about, pro I'm talking about in the, in, done in the bank, sitting there. Okay. Brings a great product to the marketplace. Domination or competition? Total domination. Coca-Cola, competition or domination? Total domination. Okay. Exxon, total domination. You see what I'm saying? You want to be in a dominating point. Okay. So what we got to do is we got to get you thinking. We got to get you thinking like the dominators think. How do they act? How does Warren Buffett act? What does Warren Buffett do with his time all the time? Those are the people I study today. I don't study the people that I went to school with, the teachers I went to school with. I don't even study my own family members. Okay. I'm looking for people that are way up here that I can say, hey, what are they doing? Because they're doing it right.